A very warm welcome to the match day vlog. It's Southampton versus Plymouth Argyle. It's the end of 2023. Can you believe it? I'm here with Brandon, who's a good friend of mine, ready to watch the game. Brandon, looking forward to it today. Yeah, definitely. The the home run we've had so far, it's been it's been a lot better since them four losses have been out of the way. I felt Russell Martin's football has been implemented well with the club, so we'll see how it goes today. Let's hope for the win. Brandon, six home wins in a row before today. We could make it seven. Do you think we can do it? I can't see why not. I feel like the players are fluent to the football that Russell Martin wanted to get us to. And as he said in the conference, he feels the first half of the season was getting us all into it. And the second half, we're here to charge. No, we let 20 goals in in our opening nine games in the Skybet Championship. Since then, we've only let nine goals in in 15 games. What's been the difference for you? I think... I think now everyone's just having more trust in the manager, trust in, trust in the goalkeeper. I mean, Gav had a bit of a rough season last year, being thrown into the deep end. I feel he's more comfortable now, and I think uh, overall we've just been doing really well. I feel like Taylor Harwood Bellis has made a real good impact. Carl Walker Peters, he's, he's been there, and I, I can't see why we can't keep this going. So. No, I'm with you, Brandon. I'm, I'm with you. We've gained seven points on Ipswich in three games now. We've really started to close that gap, Southampton, now. Do you think we can go past Ipswich? We're getting very close. Yeah, I can't see why not. I could, I could probably even argue we could start challenging Leicester because this time last month we had an 11-point gap on Ipswich and now there's an 11-point gap on Leicester. So it only takes them to slip up for us to make the gains. No, I, I, I'm with you. Um, the connection between the manager and players has been so different this season, Brandon. Um, he's done a really good job, Russell Martin. You can't take it away from him. And it, if you go back a year ago and think when we come here a year ago, Nathan Jones was the manager of this football club. It was an absolute mess. We got relegated and it became an even more of a mess. We lost a lot of players. He's had a hell of a job on his hands, really. Yeah, definitely. And I think now with this mentality, even on social media at the moment, it's all about this positive mentality with players, the manager and even the staff. He's been, he's implemented some good changes and it's clearly for the best of the club. Now I'm going to finish up with your score prediction, mate, for today's game. We've not won the final game of a calendar year since 2010. Do you think we can do it today? I can't see why not. Um, Let's, let's just hope so. I'm feeling I'm feeling 3-1. I'm feeling I'm not I'm not too Goal scorers. I'm feeling a rebo. I think he's been on a bit of a good form at the moment. I can't see why Adam Armstrong can't bang one in and Sam Adozi as well. He's been class for us this season. Now he has been good Sam Adozi. I'm gonna go with my score prediction, which I never usually put on the match day vlog. But I'm gonna go today with a Southampton win. I'm gonna go with a 2-1 win. I'm gonna go with Adam Armstrong. Um, I'm gonna go with Joe Rebo to get two in two. Morgan Whitaker for them. But we're, we're here at St Mary's looking forward to the game. Brandon, thank you very much for your time. Happy New Year to you. And um, you'll be back on the Match Day vlog next year, won't you? Yeah, of course. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Please do like the video as well. It all does help. And if you're a TikToker, myself and Brandon have set a channel up, say, it's Fan TV. Make sure you do give us a follow. Loads of great content coming your way later on in the week. I'm with Jeff and Andy. Thank you for coming on the channel. Thoughts on today's game firstly? Well, it's going to be close, I think. I'm we might get scared. another away point or we might get all three for the first time. You haven't got three points in one single game yet this season. No, no away wins. What's your thoughts on today? Well, we, we did go to Hull and we did draw a point there and we played very well. So Good I side think, hole. Yeah, we could be in a chance today. Yep. We, we were robbed at Birmingham as well. <laughs> Morgan Whitaker, we, we can't not talk about Morgan Whitaker. He's been in unbelievable form for you guys. He's matched Adam Armstrong, 12 goals for the season now, same as our talisman. How good is Morgan Whitaker? What's his strength? It's just a one man team, really. Give him the ball or score. He, he was saying just the other day, when's Whitaker going to the Prem? Because he's good enough for the Prem. He's that good? He's that good. He is, yeah. Did you pay like a million quid for him? Yeah, one mil. I think he's valued at three or four, isn't he? I know Rain just went in for him, but he got rejected. How important is that you keep Morgan Whitaker in this January transfer window? The window opens next week. You need to keep him, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah, star player, particularly with the strikers out at the moment. So, an absolute must. 
I've really enjoyed watching Plymouth this season. I've really enjoyed Stephen Schumacher's side. I thought he was a brilliant manager. You're, he's obviously moved on. How did you feel about it, about Schumacher going to Stoke? It was a, it's a big thing, isn't it? Heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. Sad day. Sad day. He done unbelievable last season. Yes. Yeah. W- win it, yeah. Winning, winning League One. Took us to the final as well. Took us to final. Day trip to Wembley as well. Pretty rare for a Plymouth fan. Yeah. But it was a good day out. And obviously you're looking for a new manager now. Manager is still at the moment. If, if there's anybody you could bring in right now, who, who do you all want? Leighton Burns, definitely. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Quality experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And finally, to wrap it up, I want to kind of get your, your aspirations for the rest of the season. I've been super impressed with Plymouth. As a Southampton fan, I thought you were brilliant when we played you down at Home Park. Home Park's been brilliant. I see you staying up. Aspirations for you just to stay up at this season? I can see a comfortable 18th because now that we've lost Schumacher, we, we might drop form a bit, but I think we'll still stay up. Yeah, they fight to the end. They keep going. You know, when some of the games we thought they'd gone, they pulled it back last minute. Could have turned it right round as well on one of them. Other than Morgan Whitaker, this final question, other than Morgan Whitaker, who's been your standout player this season? Adam Randall. Watch out for him. Where did he play? Midfield. I still think Hardy. Even if he comes on from the bench, he can change a game. Another star. He's fit today as well, isn't he, Hardy? Uh, well, I think he's being assessed this morning, but I think he'll play. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much. Just, oh, yeah, score prediction. We haven't done score prediction. Score, predi- prediction. score prediction. We've got to do the score prediction. I nearly, nearly forgot that. Going to score predictions. I'm going to say 6-1. What, Southampton? Yeah. Well, 3-2, Southampton. 3-2, yeah, I think it'd be, I think it'd be tight. We're, we're good at home. We, we've not lost for six at home. Could make it seven today and like 16 unbeaten, so who knows? Guys, thank you very much indeed. Really, really appreciate it. I'm with two more Plymouth fans. I've got Freddie and Billy with me. Welcome along to the match day vlog that I do for Southampton. Really appreciate you coming on. You come all the way from Plymouth today. How was your trip down? Yeah, lovely. Great in the sunshine. It was brilliant. You're at St Mary's ready for the game. How, how are you feeling about this one today? Excited and nervous because we might get thrashed, but you think they might get thrashed? What makes you say that because of the recent form that Southampton are in? Yeah, really, anchors our, our, our recent managers just left. So. Brings me on nicely. Your, your manager has left, Stephen Schumacher. What a great job he did. Won the league last year. You must be gutted to see him go. Oh, devastated. Yeah, sure, he was fantastic for us, and it's devastating when someone like that does leave your club, but. Everyone needs to move on at some point. Yeah, He's done an incredible job. Um, you're doing really well, Plymouth, this season. Home form's been amazing. Not Maybe not so good on the road. Just a five points on the road. Do you think you could get a result here today at St Mary's? I really hope so. You know, it's just been Christmas, so hopefully uh, Santa's give us a nice little surprise today to beat the Saints. Yeah, I'll take a draw too, though. It, it take a draw, right? We, we need to do a score prediction. We always do, do a score prediction on my vlog. So what, what's your score prediction for today's game? 2-1 our goal. 2-1 our goal. Goal scorers? Whitaker 2. two Whitaker one. 2. He got a brace Whitaker against Cardiff. Talk to me about Morgan Whitaker. He's a top player, isn't he? Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah, he's uh, he was fantastic for us last year on loan for half a season. Oh, we managed to buy him in the summer and he's... he's Absolutely done the job for us so far. Fantastic. Absolutely. Um, I want to talk about aspirations for the rest of your season as well. Um, obviously, you need to bring a manager in first. So, firstly, manager, who do you want to see take the job? Is there anybody that you want to see? Someone who likes to play attacking football. Uh, maybe Pochettino wants to come down to a good <laughs> South Coast club for once, but you never know. Yeah. Someone who just likes to play attacking football. Bit of talk about Leighton Baines. Would you take Leighton Baines as your manager? Oh, I don't know, really. He's not too keen. Not too keen. We're, uh, he's not proven, yeah. so we're unsure. He's not done anything, is he? He's not. He's but, not. But nor did Shiri yeah. before he came, so everyone, yeah, we don't know. Bit of talk of John Eustace. I saw Gus yeah. Poyer was the favourite yesterday. Yeah. Um, fancy either of those two managers? Well, they've got a lot of experience. And they might cost us a lot, though. But again, it, it's unproven. We don't know. I just, I just want it to be a good deal for our goal and be a good um, attacking team for the fans and as you look towards the end of the season now we're, we're in that final final part of the season now like final well halfway point we're just past yeah. past the halfway point what, what would you reckon for the season now stay up any any, any aspirations just to stay in the league I'm, I'm guessing yeah just to stay up like mid table maybe just stay up take mid table wouldn't you oh we'll take mid table all day but the basics are we just must stay up that's it stay up that's all we need 
Yeah, I think you will do. Brilliant side. Thank you for coming on my match day vlog. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the game. Brilliant. I've got some more Plymouth fans with me now. I want to talk to you about today's game. Then we're also talking about the season as well. What's your score prediction today? I'd take boring nil-nil right now, to be fair. Um, the way he's been going away from home, not winning all season. Today could be the day. That's the sort of club we are. But, like I say, become more than hope and expectation of a truthful. What's your, what's your score prediction? Like, like you're saying, you haven't won on the road just yet. Yeah, without winning on the road, it's, it's going to be a tricky one. Um, a 1-0 would be nice. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a tough day today, a tough day at the office. And what about you, young man? What are you thinking about today's game at St Mary's? 2-1 our goal. 2-1 our goal. What are your goal scorers? Morgan Whitaker? Whitaker and Ryan Hardy if he's back. Ryan Hardy if he's back. Hopefully Ryan Hardy will be fit for you guys. He's been out injured. Who's been your standout player? Obviously, Whitaker's been great, hasn't he? Whitaker's been good. Yeah, he scores the goals, but they get all the glory. For me, personally, I think Houghton's been outstanding in midfield. And Gibson, the defender, has been unbelievably good for us. Um, but unfortunately, the run song here was the goal without the notice. The guys who score the goals get all the credit. But if you watch Whitaker off the ball, he doesn't do a great deal. If you want a player that will just score goals for you, he's ideal. But for me, I'd go for Gibson for this so far this season. He's been brilliant. And what about you two? Yeah, Houghton for me. Houghton just does all the dirty work. Yeah, I like, I like Houghton a lot. We had, we, had, we had some other fans come and spoke about Houghton. Everyone said he was really good. Who's been your uh, your favourite player this season so far? I would have to say Lewis Gibson. It's got my Lewis Gibson. You've just lost your manager, Stephen Schumacher. Did an amazing job. Won the league one last season. Were outstanding. Who would you like to see coming in and replace him? It's a tough one. I would like somebody still young and progressive like Schumacher was. It's also a massive loss. Personally, I'd go for John Eustace. Um, at Birmingham, did a great job in a low budget. We're a low budget club, unlike like Southampton and whatnot. We're, in, we're a small fish in a big pond, really, to be fair. So I'd like something like that. I don't want to go back to the old guys being bounced around. I don't want like a Gus Poyet or a Paul Cook. Or He's a favourite in Gus Poyet at the moment, that's all. Yeah, not for me. He's used to working at big clubs, to be truthful. I want a guy who's young and progressive and he wants to drive on drive the club down also for me as a manager i want to move his family lock stock and barrel down to plymouth so he puts his heart and soul into it like schumacher did yeah. you know he brought the whole community together we've got a massive fan base really of local people now it's going in the right direction and i think you need something to do that don't go don't go backwards just trying to look forwards i think but i've got faith in hallett the chairman i think they'll pick the right person to be fair he's a football club that's going in the right direction down at home park the form has been unbelievable this season what a fortress it's been you must be loving the football down there yeah, it's nice to see Home Park sold out every week. You know, the, the fight for tickets is really difficult. Um, but that's that's great. That's what we want. You know, a lot of people asking for the stadium to be made bigger. But at the moment, just keep selling it out. Get in there, cement ourselves in the league. And that's that's where we build from there, I think. And, and your aspirations for the season now is to stay in the division. That's what you want, isn't it? Uh, you want to stay in the league? Just stay up? So yeah. Just stay up. Yeah, or maybe I'll, I'll be happy if Luton goes down. And Argo goes on. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. We love that. And yourself, you just want to stay up, don't you? Yeah, stay in the league this year. Like I think everyone took stay in the league at the start of the season. We've had a, a great start, to be fair. You know, we went on a real good run at the start of the season. So we start looking a little bit higher then. But yeah, let's, let's face it, staying in the league's key. I find you staying up. I think you're a great side. Play some really attractive football. Well. You just want to keep playing that, don't you? Yeah, that's key. So, I mean, I've, I've followed Argo for my 40th year now, watching the club over the years. And I've seen some dross, to be truthful. You know, <laughs> yeah. a long ball. And, and some of the older guys still try to play long. But for me, personally, get the ball down and play it. You know, and if, if you lose it, you lose it. So what? But it's, it's far more attractive. This year has been brilliant because we've seen some great sides, some brilliant games at home park. Even ones we've lost. The yeah. football's brilliant. I mean, yeah, you want to win. But if you're watching good football, you don't mind paying the money for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're really looking forward to today's game. It will be a great game. Two sides that both like to play football. We're here at St Mary's for the match day vlog. First Southampton fan on the match day vlog today is Richard. Richard, thank you very much for joining me. Happy New Year to you. Let's talk about Southampton in this wonderful run of form we're on right now. We can make it 17 games unbeaten here at St Mary's today. Do you think we can do it? Uh, I think we can. With the form that we're in currently in the team, if he keeps it the same, I think we're in for a good chance to make it another 17 today. No, I do. We're brilliant home form as well. The home form's been incredible. Could, could go seven right, games that we've won consecutively right. at St Mary's. It's been a long time since we did that. It's been, I think we equaled a 100 year record the other day when we beat, obviously, Swansea 5-0. So it's looking good for us, so promotion's looking good. The big turnaround has been, if you look at the first 
part of the season. We let 20 goals in in nine games at the start of this Skybet Championship season. Since then, we've let nine goals in in 15 games. What's been the turnaround? I think just playing the same team week in, week out, and the team adjusting to the new manager's way, the style of football, it's helped the team realise like what he wants to do and the long-term goals going forwards. Let's talk about Russell Martin. You bring me on nicely. He took on a tough job, but the togetherness that he's bringing, it can't be underestimated. He's really bringing everybody together, not just the players. He's brought all the fans together, everybody that works at the club, all feel a part of this. There's something very special brewing here, isn't there? Yeah, he's brought something to the club that we haven't had since like the Adkin days and the, um, the Koeman days, and it's something that the fans have needed for a few years, especially with the past few managers that we've had. The form wasn't great. Like we had Nathan Jones come in, the hoof ball didn't really work. Ruben Sellers come in off the back of a fourth team that was struggling. So he had a job to do himself. So Martin had to pick up the scraps from the start and do it all from scratch on, his new, on a new slate in a new league with a new team. We're just about to come into January, another, another transfer window for Russell. Um, Anyone that you like to see us bring in? Anyone in particular? An area that you feel that needs to be strengthened? Maybe our midfield or our attack going forward. Since we've lost Ward Prowse, we've lost that like attacking going forward and our set pieces. We've got Armstrong who scored a brilliant free kick against Stoke. But other than that, I don't think we've got many midfielders that can produce what James Ward Prowse did going forward. No, he was very good going forward. Talking about going forward, Joe Rebo's come into the side. How good's Joe B Rebo been? Talk to me about Rebo. He's been phenomenal. Obviously, his form at Rangers, you can't, it's unbeaten. Obviously, in playing in Europa League, he was phenomenal. So I think he was a very good signing to bring in. And now that he's getting the game time that he deserves, I think he's showing us what he actually has. Very good at the hold up place because he's quite strong on the ball. Mm. So I've noticed a lot of times going forward, they'll play it to Reba so he can hold up the ball so the players can shift into the positions. To, then they use him to like play off to, to create chances. We're, ju we're just over the halfway mark now. We've got a long way to go in this Skybet Championship season. We have gained seven points on Ipswich in the last three games. Do you feel we're going to surpass them? And, and possibly, you could even say Leicester City. I think Leicester have run away with the league. I can personally admit that they've run away with it. Ipswich, I think towards the end, like later on in the season, they will have a dip in form. Like they've dropped points against Leicester, which we knew was going to be a challenge. But if they wanted to keep that automatic place and keep it going, they should have. They would have wanted three points, and I think they're going to start dropping in form soon. I've got two more Southampton fans. Matthew and Jason are with me now. You had a, vi you had a video that went viral a few days ago. Talk to me all about it. Um, well, I kind of just like took a video because I was expecting like the replay of the video to come up and we'll it kind of just came up with that and I thought it was really funny so I posted it on um, my TikTok and all of a sudden it got like all these likes and like it got shared by the club apparently so it's brilliant it's a great video make sure you, you we need to check you out so you need to let everybody know where they can find you what what, what what's your handle uh, Southampton hub so, so Amsterdam Hub, make sure you go give him a follow. Great video when Joe Rebo scored against Swansea City and we played the Joe Rebo tune. It was absolutely superb. Let's talk about today's game. Plymouth are goal here at St Mary's. Can I get a score prediction? 3-0. It's going to be 3-0. Goal scorers. Uh, Sam Adozzi, uh Joe Rebo and... Adams. Armstrong, maybe. maybe. Nah. Armstrong? I think. Adam? I think. Yeah, Adam Armstrong. Go ahead. What about yourself? Score prediction for today's yeah. game? I think I think uh, Saints are on a great run, aren't they? Form's incredible. Probably the best in the league at the moment, really. Uh, Plymouth haven't won away all season, so I'm thinking, yeah, possibly 3 4 0, yeah, hopefully. I, w I want to talk to you about Russell Martin. He's coming, he took a big job on here. But what togetherness this club. There's, few, there's, a, there's a sense around the stadium today. For you that are not coming, you might be in Australia, there's people in New Zealand tuning in and watch this. There's a great atmosphere around this stadium now. There's a buzz that there's not been for a long time. You feel it as well. It's down to the manager as well. Yeah, I've got to say, I think for me, straight away when I saw him, I always look at the manager and say, would I follow this guy myself? And if they can't put that across, then to me, they're never going to do it to the players. But straight away when I saw Russell Martin right at the summer, 
I thought, yeah, this guy strikes me as a leader. And he's just proved that now. And you can tell the team want to play for him. The atmosphere is incredible. Yeah. Some of the stuff the media, the club's media isn't putting out as well. We were saying well. that on the way, the, the club's media and the way they put the videos together, like the training, he's got his arms around players. Aribo's come into really good form, but the manager's re he, he's got some belief in him and there's something, there's something special. Yeah, it does. It feels like there is a lot of special stuff going on at the club. There was a bit of a rocky patch, wasn't there, just after the first few games, and you're kind of thinking, oh, Christ, what's going on here? But, I mean, at the moment, they I would say the best team in the league at the moment. Yeah, I totally agree. I think we're the best team in the league at the moment. If you look at it, we've gained seven points on Ipswich yeah. in the last three games. Do you think we can go past Ipswich? Yes, I think, I think if I was to predict by the end of the season, I think it would be us finishing second, but... I think it'd be. A, I think I'd rather go first because obviously I want to win the league and it'd be funny. People think I'm crazy. I, I still think we could we could go and catch Leicester. There's 11 points in it. Do you think it could be possible? It, it just takes us to keep going and them just to slip, which could easily happen. Yeah. Well, halfway. I think um, every team has a little bad spell, doesn't it? Leicester have sort of had a little falter. Uh, it is possible. They're still 11 points ahead of us at the moment. So who knows? Well, we've got to keep this run going. I think Ipswich, I don't think they've got the depth in their squad to, to go all the way. So, And they've had a few dodgy results lately. So we should definitely hopefully catch Ipswich. you just got to keep going, haven't you? So We have to just keep going now. January transfer window opens next week. Anybody you would like to see us come, come into the football club? An area that needs strengthening for you? Danny Ings. I'd like to see Danny yeah. Ings. Because... First, he scores goals. Yeah, and if he's amazing in the championship because like yeah. he's a Premier League player. I think we'd be crazy to turn our nose up to him. A lot of fans would. What about yourself? Who would you like to see come in? Yeah, I think um, the obvious position I think we could do with a little bit of strength is a, an out-and-out -out striker, like a proven goal scorer. Um, yeah, I mean, if Ings is available and he's willing to come, I think it would be an amazing uh, person to bring back. No, I totally agree. Thank you very much today for coming on my match day vlog. You've both been brilliant. Thank you. I'm with another Southampton fan, Harvey. Welcome along. I want to get your thoughts on today's game, but I also want to talk to you about the January transfer window. Yeah. I want to talk about Russell Martin as well. What's going on at this football club? Because it feels very, very special here right now. There's something good building, isn't there? Thoughts on today's game. Plymouth are goal. They're yet to win away from home. They've picked up five points on the road that have all been draws. Do you think we'll carry our uh, winning, our winning home form going? You can make it seven wins in a row at St Mary's today. Yeah, I think we'll. I think we'll get the win today. I mean, it'll be difficult. I reckon Martin's going to do a lot of rotation. We've had a lot of games in the past few weeks. We're going to have another game Monday. I think he's going to need to rotate the team. It's going to be a lot different. Maybe it'll be more of a second team than our first team. And it might be harder than our last few games. I think it'd be a tough game. They've got Morgan Whitaker up front, who scored 12 goals. He's equaled Adam Armstrong for goals. He's a dangerous player, isn't he? And if Hardy's fit for them, they've got some dangerous players. Yeah, I think our, our defence is definitely going to have to be on point today. They have to be focusing. We can't make our, sometimes we have our silly passes at the back, we're always giving it away. I don't think we can do that today because Whit Whitaker, if we make these mistakes, he's going to pounce and he's going to capitalise on them and get a goal. No, I think you're right. We, we let 20 goals in in our first nine championship games this season. Since then, we've let nine goals in in 15 games. Yeah. What's the difference been for you? I think when Jack Stevens first got his injury, uh, we had Shea Charles in defence, and uh, that one game with Sunderland, we had Shea Charles and, what was it, Mason Holgate, I think, and where we've had like the injuries at the start of the season, I think that was our main, our main reason why we were conceding all the goals. We've got our best players fit now, we've been working in the system for a, a long enough time, and I think that's just worked out for us. It's a great place to come against St Mary's, we only got two wins here all season last year, and it starts to feel really good, we're winning games, there's a great atmosphere around this football club right now, it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, especially right, around the chapel, uh, last season when we weren't doing three, well, Saints you'd only have like the Northern or whatever the singing, Jasper but now Edwards. you've got the whole stadium starting to get loud, and it's just come a really nice place to come to on your weekends, guys, and for teams coming here, it's a dangerous place to come to. Yeah, it is a dangerous place to come to. We're gaining points on Ipswich all the time, and Leicester. We've closed Ipswich, there were seven points in three games we've closed in. Do you think we can go past them and get that second spot? I think so, we will end up. What, I think it will end up on the last day of the season. Us or Leeds are coming second. So big round of applause I think we'll the definitely end. overtake Ipswich. It will be a tough first, task, but I think we'll do it. No, he well, thinks we'll do it. I think you're right. Thank so you very much for your time today. Let's hope the Saints can win. Lewis, we'll get your score prediction on today's game. 
Saints Plymouth, what's your thoughts? Can we make it 17 games unbeaten? Yeah, I think solid 4-0 Saints. 4-0 Saints, I want your goal scorers now. Who's going to be your goal scorers and your star man? I think Adam Armstrong too. Charlie Alcaraz. And Alcaraz starts as well. Yeah. And I think a Dozy's going to get one. Dozy's been in some good form. And a Rebo, talk to me about both those two. They've come into the side out of nowhere really, not really paid a great deal till the last month. Both have done really well, haven't they? Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of a Rebo myself, but I do like, I'm a big fan of a Dozy. I think he's a great player and got a lot of talent. Mate, Saints are in some unbelievable performance at the moment. We, we haven't lost a game since all the way, we go all the way back to September. Yeah. What did you put it down to? Because we had such a rocky start to the season, didn't we? Let a lot of goals in and all of a sudden in the last 15 games, we've only let nine goals in. Yeah, I think it's got to be Russell Martin with his tactics and that, you know. No, we haven't had a manager that's done that in quite a while, other than Hasselhoot so. He's doing really well, Russell Martin. There's a good yeah. togetherness. There's a lot of people that I was saying earlier that tune into my vlogs, that I live overseas, that don't get to St Mary's. Talk to, talk to them, let them know what's the atmosphere like around this stadium at the moment. It is transformed. Compared to a year ago, Nathan Jones was the manager of this football club. It was dire. It was the pits. And all of a sudden, it's so different, isn't it? Yeah, it's been quality. Like, today in Swansea sold out. If that was last year, it'd never been. It's, this form that we've been in has completely changed your fans. It has been unbelievable. I'm loving coming to St Mary's. Are you? I am, yeah. Coming quite a lot now. Yeah, we're looking forward to this back, back end of the season now. We're, we're just over halfway. Do you think we can get automatics? Oh, I've been saying on my channel for weeks, I feel we can push the Ipswich all the way. I think we'll go past them pretty soon. Yeah, I think we'll We've go. gained seven points on them in, th in three games. What's your thoughts? Yeah, just keep going on this unbeaten form. Then I think we got them in April, so we could go down to that to go up. Us or them. Absolutely, you're bang on. Thank you very much for coming on today. Yeah, no worries, thank you. Okay. Right, final interview before the game starts. Joe and Chris are with me. Score prediction to kick things off. I think it's going to be 2-0. It's going to be 2-0. I've gone with 2-1. Oh, what two about nil. yourself? I'm going 3-0, mate. 3-0. Nil. Nil. He's a confident man. He's a very confident man. Yeah, yeah honestly, like, we got, what, 5-0 last time. Uh, what, 4-0 against Blackburn. Like, why not? Keep the, keep, keep the momentum going, mate. Why not? 11 goals at St Mary's in three games. It's amazing. We haven't, Clean sheets. We haven't conceded. Let's talk about the contrast from last season. This time a year ago, Nathan Jones was the manager of this football club. We were in an absolute mess. It got worse as the year went. We got relegated. How different is it here now? I mean, There's a buzz, isn't there? There is a buzz here. Russell Martin has a definite effect on the club, most definitely. What do you think? Mate. We've got to talk about Russell Martin. He's done an amazing job. Mate. Yeah, Russell Martin is brilliant. Don't even talk to me about the Jones. <laughs> Abs ab abs absolute Let's not talk about Jones. Absolute clown, mate. No idea. What, be what best manager in Europe, did he say or something? Like I saw him on Sky Sports the other day and he was still spouting the same nonsense. This guy, Russell Martin, he's brought him together, and that's not just with the players, but he's linking the fan base. 100%. It's all inclusive here right now, isn't it? Oh, last Christmas, I gave someone else my heart. This year, same from tears, I gave it to Russell Martin. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Thoughts <laughs> <laughs> from Russell Martin? Mate, I love him. Like, like we started off well, uh, Sheffield Wednesday away. Mate, everyone loved it. And then we had a, like, a bit of a sticky September. Yeah. After that, we've really kicked on. It's what, 16 games unbeaten, isn't it? Could make it 17 today. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what, like, why not kick on? Like, I know that like the way the championship is going, there's so much competition up like at the top, but why not kick on, mate? We've why not? really, really closed the gap. We were about 11 points off Ipswich a few weeks ago. We've in the last t in the last three, we think we closed like seven seven points in, in three it's games. It's been wonderful. It's unbelievable. It's been absolutely wonderful. Can to we get all times? To see us leave fourth position, which we were in for so long, is lovely. Do you think we can get the automatics? I know we'll make playoffs, hundred percent. But yeah. I'm not convinced on the automatics. What about yourself? I don't know. You got there's a lot of competition up there. I mean Leeds. I know you've had a few dodgy results recently, but. I don't know, it's, it's going to be tight, isn't it? We've got Leeds' final day of the season, haven't we? So that could be all to play for. all come down to there. Yeah. Hopefully it's all done before then, right? Finally, before you let you go, January transfer window opens next week. Is there any areas that need stripping? I, I want Anybody that you want to see? Stripping? Uh, <laughs> potentially Shea Adams. But I'd really want to sign properly Ryan Fraser. He's my favourite player. Yeah, Ryan Fraser's been amazing. He's amazing. Any, anybody you'd like to see come in that's not here at the moment? I don't know, what do you think? 
Well, we've had um, Danny Ings has been linked with us, hasn't he? There's like, some, there's rumors. May, may, maybe another striker up front. I mean, Ross Stewart, I, I've heard he's out for the season now. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with him, but yeah, if we get another striker, just kick on. Like, I, I think our defence is solid. I think our midfield is solid. But Zunu, like, I, I gave him a lot of stick last season, yeah. but I think he's kicked on. I think, yeah, if we get one more body up front, I think Ings, he could be the man. Yeah. Potentially. I don't, I don't know. It would be strange to see him come back. It would yeah. be very strange. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how the club would accept him. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. He it, it, it didn't leave on the best terms, did he? Like, <laughs> everyone thought, Money. He, everyone thought Money. he was going to kick him. Everyone thought he was going to kick him, but he goes to Aston Villa. It's not the best, is it? But if he comes back, scores a few goals, yeah, who knows? Why not? Get another strike up front. Yeah. That, that Billy Sharp type signing, the last time we were in the Championship, Billy Sharp came in. I think we've got 10 goals between January and exactly. end of the season. It was amazing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we had him in. Let's not forget Tadanari Lee. Like, <laughs> <laughs> mate, that goal he scored against Derby, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you two have been absolutely wonderful in the match. Thank, Thank you. And finally, we get a chance to check on the teams for tonight's game. Bazuna in goal, Walker Peters, Harwood Bellis, Benjamin, Manning, Charles Smallbone, Alvarez, Dozen, Adams, and Arthur. No flip downs, he is ill. Out drops Stuart Armstrong and Joe Arrivo as well. Well, we need to finish. We got no finishes. We're all over them. We're everywhere. But again, when they break, they look dangerous. Because we're uh, we can't. We can't defend the break. We, need, we need to bring a striker in, don't we? Oh, uh, absolutely, hundred uh, percent. We have no proper strikers. Uh, we're floating midfielders around the front that he thinks we're going to finish, and it worked last game. Well, wow. uh, but do you think uh, Plymouth are dangerous on the break here? Yeah, I think they do. Whitaker looks a danger. I don't know. Yeah. Be bad for he, us, but they look dangerous. When they come forward, we're struggling back. So we've got everyone forward. And Bazunu's a loose cannon. I like him, but he's a loose cannon. He makes mistakes, and they're going to take advantage of that. Second half just about to kick off. We need to see a wee man. Brian Fraser, Aribo, you'd like to see both come on? Aribo, 100%. Uh, Fraser, absolutely. Uh, Aribo, come on, make some moves, set people up. And Fraser in the centre of many, maybe. And then. Hopefully start finishing. But Definitely. We have to get some goals. We have to. We do have to score. Second Absolutely. half just about the game. Saints to Plymouth one. What were your thoughts on on the performance? Dominant, but 
should have been 5 0 up again by at least half time, if not 75 minutes in. Yeah, we played really well first half. Charlie Al Alcaraz was really good. Come out at the start of that second half and we started really well. Brilliant goal, wasn't it? What did you think of it? I, it reminded me a little bit of myself, to be honest. Um, <laughs> uh, no, it, it's exactly what he's good at getting on that little half turn, little touch out your feet and find the top corner. I mean, he had a couple of goes before that and it ended up in row Z, but best of three, isn't it? Made a lot of substitutions through the back end of the game. I guess he's trying to keep everybody fresh. There's another game on New Year's Day. Um, it kind of mixed, it messed up the rhythm of the game slightly, didn't it? But we had a mistake from the goalkeeper. He's been really good as of late, but he did make a mistake at the end there. Yeah, I think, I think to be honest, you, you're as dominant as you are in the game and you bring a few sort of defensive subs on, it sort of invites that pressure. If you'd have changed on a couple of the attacking players for attacking players again and kept going at them, we would have got that third and fourth goal. Um, it's always going to happen, 90th minute, back to the goalkeeper's feet, unless he clears the ball, it's there right on the tail. They're going to get that... Made it a little bit nervy though, didn't it? Those last, like, the last sort of like four or five minutes were quite nervy. It certainly did, considering I went to the loo and came back and I didn't even realise it was 2 1 until about three minutes to time. Ryan, uh, Ryan Fraser goes through, he's got a one on one with the goalkeeper and he put it wide. We, again, we had probably another four or five clear cut chances that should have been in before that. Um, yeah, we got the job done. We got the job done. Um, we, we were the first ones to play tonight. Ipswich are playing as we're recording. Leicester are playing as we're record, recording. I could do with Asmir doing us a favour. Right now, he's in goal for QPR against Ipswich. Um, what's your thoughts on catching Ipswich? It's one game at a time. If we keep winning, keep that positive mentality. Even if you lose one, then you go on and win the next two or three after that. Um, it's all up to Ipswich and, and, well, and Leicester, to be fair. They've got to keep winning to keep up with us. Yeah, we're doing very well. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I've got Archie and I've got Ollie with me. A bit more fan reaction. Southampton have won today, 2-1 against Plymouth yeah. Argyle. Um, should have been a few more goals though, shouldn't it? Yeah, Fraser, poor chance. One on one. Missed. Yeah, poor, poor. Had to put it in the corner there. Uh, Shea Adams misses four or five chances. We need a centre forward desperately. Um, midfield today wasn't great. I think Shea Charles was a bit lacklustre in there. We miss Flynn Downs. Apparently he's got food poisoning again. He certainly needs a chef, doesn't he? Yeah, personal chef to get him in the team. We need him permanently. I think he's a rock in our midfield. Um, I think Shea Charles is a bit inexperienced compared to Flynn Downs, but I don't think he's done a bad job today at all. What were your thoughts on the win today? It got it got a bit edgy at the end there, didn't it? With Bazuni with the mistake. We were a bit sloppy like in the last 10 minutes of the match. Um, we should... We need a new forward. We do need a striker. Who would you bring in? If, if you if you were Russell Martin and you could bring anybody in, who would you bring in? Uh, someone like Danny Ings again. Danny Ings would be great, wouldn't he? Yeah. Do you think we... You, you were saying we need a forward. Would you, yeah. would you take Danny Ings? Yeah, I'd take Ings, but I quite like the look of that Aberdeen forward link with that Bojan Miovovsky. He's very good in Europe. He's very good in Scotland, you know. Bit of a big presence up front. That's what we need in the Championship. So... If we bring him in, I think it'd be ideal because I think Che Adams will leave. But besides that, I was going to talk to you about January. Window opens next week. Who do you think will leave? Well, obviously, there's a few people you want to keep. Who do you really, really want to keep? Who you think clubs are going to be sniffing around? Walker Peters. Carl Walker Peters, 100%. He is a different outstanding level, today, wasn't he? Different level compared to the rest of them today. Different level. Definitely our best player. I want to ask you both, who's been your favourite player this season? Who's been the standout Southampton player this season so far? It's been a well, halfway point now. Just over. Probably either Adam Armstrong or Carl Walker Peters. Yeah, Armstrong's been good and he? he's scored a lot of goals. He's not scored for a couple of games, but he will get more, won't he? Do you think he can get the golden boot? Uh, he has a chance, but I don't I don't really know, to be yeah. honest. I, I think he's got a good chance. He looks good. You, you, you've been impressed with Adam Armstrong. Yeah, I think he's better out wide, though. I think we need a bit of a presence up front. Someone down the middle. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Adam Armstrong's better out wide, alongside of Dozy. I don't think Suleiman has really popped up within the goals this year, so definitely them two out wide. New Year's Day, we head to Carrow Road. We take on a Norwich City side, who we drew 4-4 with at St Mary's early on this early on this year. Yeah. What's your thoughts on this one? 2-0, I reckon. Um, Norwich, are, they're a bit inconsistent, but on their day, they're a very, very good side, so it'll be a difficult place to go to and win.
And finally, what's your thoughts on the on the Norwich game on New Year's Day? I think it's going to be a tough game, but I think I'm going to go for a Saints win 2-1. I like that. That's a nice way to end this interview. Thank you very much indeed. I'm back with Brandon to finish off today's match day vlog. Thoughts on the on the win today? Southampton 2, Plymouth 1. Yeah, there was, there was definitely a few more chances that we could have won that, a few more goals than we did, but obviously three points to end the year and hopefully carry on this good form. Brandon, I've got to give you a massive shout-out because he's held the camera for every single interview I've done today. So, Brandon, thank you very much for doing that. Um, some more thoughts on the game. There's a lot of changes made. No Flynn Downs. We missed him a bit, didn't we, today? Yeah, I felt like Flynn Downs was a key integral part when he came back in. It was, he's a... He's very fluent on the ball defensively, comes out on the attack. I felt like Shay Charles lacked that, maybe just due to him being slightly younger. And it's, a, it's, it's a big loss, but at the end of the day, we've got to work with what we've got and see yeah. what happens. We've got a nice squad. He brought some nice players off the bench. A Rebo coming off the bench again today. Ryan Fraser, who should have scored, shouldn't he, Ryan Fraser? Yeah, one on one. It was, it, was, it was sad to see him miss, but at the end of the day, he's been clinical when we've needed them three points. So we can't put anything on that player. So it's a nice way to end the calendar year. First time we've won on the final day of the year or the final game of the calendar year since 2010. Yeah, I finally broke that record. I was, I was hoping you'd say that. Um, I'm glad that we managed to do it. It just shows what Russell Martin's been able to build on this club, keep these wins going, keeping these draws going. It's nice to see. We spoke before, it's, it's, we can make it seven home wins in a row. We've done that today. It's a great way to finish off the, this calendar year. Yeah, it's definitely rounded up like this latter part of the season after these, the four losses in a row. It's just showed how much Russell Martin's turned this club around for the better. And hopefully we can push it, switch for automatic promotion. Brandon's heading to Carrow Road on New Year's Day. Some thoughts uh, on this one. 4-4 four, four draw at St Mary's early on this year, back in, back in August time. What's your thoughts on this one? Won't be an easy game, will it? It, it won't be an easy game, that's for sure, but... I feel, I feel Saints, with the form they've got at the moment, can maybe grab them three points. No, I think it'll be a really tough game. We've got some really good players and, and looking forward to this one. Thank you, mate.